Jim, this question from the Cult of Cornet Facebook group is from Garrison Newkirk. If, Flash, if that is indeed his real name. If Flash Flanagan was brought up to the main roster, would he have been a huge star or just another mid-carder? Um, again, depending on what gimmick, pers personality, persona, whatever that they gave him, Flash was a great worker in the ring. He's another guy who... He, ver, the verbal part wasn't natural, but when he got fired up in an issue and got some oomph behind it, uh, then he could deliver there too. He never had uh, the cosmetic body that unfortunately would have served him better during that period. I mean, I, I in all honesty, and I hope he doesn't hear this, and well, I don't think he ever thought he was going to be the next Stone Cold Steve Austin either, but. No, in, in the Attitude Era, there was so much top talent at the top that I'm not saying he would have ever main evented or been, you know, one of the legendary Attitude Era icons. But at the same time, because of his understanding of, you know, just how to have a match and how to have an exciting match and get over and blah, 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 you know, if they'd have given him the right gimmick and given him a chance, then I think he would have attracted attention. But be, be, being a mid-carter in those days was still a fucking, you know, half-million-dollar-a-year proposition. Without going too deep, there are probably a lot of listeners out there who don't know who Flash Flanagan is. Again, OVW is not readily available. First time I saw him, I had never heard of him before. It was in 1995 at the Super Bowl of Wrestling, and he impressed the hell out of us, and that was one of those matches. It was originally going to be the Steiner Brothers. Instead, we got the Headbangers against Flash Flanagan and... Was it Chris, Chris Michaels? Michaels? And Chris yes. Michaels. And it ended up being a really impressive match. You got to see that powerbomb leg drop finisher. But Flash Flanagan impressed everyone. To the people at home who've never seen him, or may never have access to see him, a little bit about him. Well, it, it, first of all, if Flash didn't just work OVW, uh, he spent, uh, that was 95, you mentioned, with the Smoky Mountain match. He was working Memphis at that point in time, or somewhere around that period of time. He's from Indiana, Indianapolis originally, and he's also spent a good amount of time in the late 90s, early thousands in Puerto Rico. I mean, there's a, <laughs> the one thing is he was a guy that would fucking do anything again and go too far. We, and we reeled him back in OVW and he still had insane matches, but there's a clip on YouTube of him being thrown off the balcony in Puerto Rico somewhere. And he it, it wasn't a landing that he stuck perfectly like he was going to, wanted to. Oof. And, I, you know, and we, we his original wrestling name was Flash Flanagan. We shortened it to Flash because I just thought it sounded a little more flashy. And, you know, again, it, I think it was one of those things where at that point in time, they didn't like the, the physique was not as impressive as they would like. Um, and he, I'm not saying he was fat, but he had, you know, he was like Bobby Eaton. He was in shape, but he didn't have anything that showed. So I'm trying to think where would be a good place to, Puerto Rico, Flash or Flash Flanagan, either one. And there's probably more there of him than there is anything from OVW on YouTube. All right. 